Hello everybody and welcome to Miss Burns' awesome lesson. Now I want to start off with a question. And that question is, what do these pictures have in common? We have a butterfly, a letter A, a star, and a rainbow. I want you all to take a moment to think about this question. Okay, now I hope some of y'all realize that if we draw a line down the middle of these shapes, just like this, I'm going to go to this butterfly. If you look at each side of the butterfly, it's the same as the other. Let's go to this letter A. We could draw a line right down the middle and each side be the same as the other. We'll look at this star. This side is the same as the other too and this rainbow it also works. This side is the same as the other. There's actually a special word for this and it is called, let me write it out for you, called symmetry. S Y M M E T R Y. Symmetry. There are lots of shapes out there in the world that have symmetry. And we're going to go over a few of it and practice that. So what you're going to be learning today by the end of today, you're going to be able to analyze 2D figures or two-dimensional figures and discover their lines of symmetry, if they exist. Let's look at this smiley face over here. Do you think that smiley face has any lines of symmetry? It actually does. You draw right down the middle. See? All right. So, symmetry, the definition is, symmetry is when one shape becomes exactly like another if you flip, slide, or turn it. And the simplest type of symmetry is reflection, or mirror symmetry. And it's shown this picture of the dog. See, if you draw a line right down the middle, you can see that this side is the same as the other. Let's move right on along. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to do these together. Now, what we've been doing so far is just drawing one line of symmetry throughout our shapes. Well, believe it or not, some shapes actually have more than one line of symmetry. So let's start with this star. The star, okay, we already figured out. There's a line of symmetry right here. Well, I can come to this point, draw a line of symmetry right there. And if you look at this side and this side, it's the same. Well, are there any more lines of symmetry? There are. There's one right here. There is one right here. And there's actually one more right there. So how many total lines of symmetry does a star have? It actually have, actually has five. <clears throat> Let's move right on down to this flower. Let's see, how many lines of symmetry does this have? Let's we'll start right up and down. That's the easiest. One. Hmm, here's another one. Two. Three. Oop, that line's a little messed up. Three. Okay, are we done? I think we actually have a little bit more. Let me see. 
Here's another one. Four, five, six. This flower actually has six lines of symmetry. Let's move right on over to this flag that we have here. All right, so the easiest one, straight up and down, that's one. If you go across, that's two. We're going to go diagonal now. It's three. And then diagonal again. Four. There are four lines of symmetry on this one. Now, lastly, this hexagon. How many lines of symmetry does this hexagon have? <clears throat> one. Oop. Mess up. There we go. So there's one. <clears throat> Two. Three. Four. Five. And six total. This hexagon has six lines of symmetry, just like the flower. All right, I hope you all are getting the hang of this. It's pretty easy, huh? All right, so there's shapes that have multiple lines of symmetry. Well, let me give you this challenge question. How many lines of symmetry does this circle have? All right, now y'all think about it. challenging. It was a little different than the ones we've been doing. This circle? Alright, let's figure this out. There's one up and down. Like, easy. There's a one. Let's go straight across. There's two. <clears throat> Alright, are we done? Hmm, I don't think so. Here's three. Four. I think we can keep going. Five. Six, seven, eight. Can we keep going? Mm hmm, we can. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm running out of room. But you know, we can keep going. So that means that circles actually have an infinite number of lines of symmetry, meaning that it's never-ending, it's countless. So how many lines of symmetry does a circle have? It has a lot. So, I mean, think about it. If you have a pizza, you can divide that pizza up into however many slices you want. But the more you slice it up, the smaller the slices are going to be. All right, now let me show you this. <clears throat> Take a look at these shapes and figures and think about where are the lines of symmetry. Okay, so I kind of tricked you there. These shapes actually don't have any lines of symmetry. And it is possible. There's some shades out there that just don't have it. Let's look at this letter J. Let me see. If we try to divide it up like this, straight up and down, is this side the same as the other side? It's not. What if we divided it straight across? This side is not the same as that side either. So actually, eh, oh, hang on. Eh, doesn't work. What about this hand? <clears throat> Does this hand have symmetry? Let's see, let's divide it up and down. Nope, we kind of have this thumb sticking out, which makes it not even. What about straight across? 
Nope, not really. And then, nope, that doesn't work either. So my hand doesn't. What about this tree? Let's see, up and down? Nope. Straight across? Nope, not really. And then let's go diagonal. <clears throat> Don't mind my crooked line, but you know what? This tree, it doesn't have symmetry either. Eh, wrong. Lastly, let's go to this little kitty cat. <clears throat> Let me see. Let's start with diagonal. So does it look like it has a line of symmetry? It doesn't. And also, it doesn't if we did it up and down, or straight across. So this kitty cat also does not have any lines of symmetry. So it is possible that shapes don't end, but, I mean, there are shapes that just have one. There are shapes that just have two lines of symmetry. And remember, there's a certain shape that has an infinite or a ceaseless amount of lines of symmetry, and that is a circle. All right, so how do you feel about what we just learned? How do you feel about symmetry? Well, I hope you feel pretty good. I mean, that inter introduction was pretty easy, and we're going to go over this more in class, okay? Um, after this, after we get really comfortable with symmetry, we're going to learn about the types of symmetry. There are three different types, okay? Well, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you later.